The Aspace Gallery is where I keep files that I might use in my Aspace documents. I can drag and drop or import files to the gallery using this menu. Files are represented in the gallery with icons, and I can select any of the files by clicking on the corresponding checkbox. This reveals a contextual menu of actions that I can then perform on that particular file. In the image gallery, I can click on an image to see a larger preview, and then I can right click on that image to download the image straight to my local computer, or open it in a new tab or a new window. There are also areas for multimedia files, for MS Office documents, PDFs and text files, and for files with miscellaneous extension names that the system might not recognize. When I look at my documents area, I can see that I have quite a lot of files here, and sometimes it's difficult to find exactly what I'm looking for. I can see that the files are arranged into pages, and I can toggle between the different pages, and that may help me. But a better way to find files here is to add some filters. I can, for example, say that I'd only like to see my PDF files, or I could say that I'd only like to see my XLS files. I could also choose to filter based on some string of characters in the file name. So, for example, if I only want to see files that contain the live string, I can put that into the filter, and that reveals these three files here. I can now select these three files, and I can move them anywhere I want. I could, for example, make a new folder that we'll call RTF. And now I'll select the three files, and I'll move them into the new folder that I just created. You'll notice that when I do that, I can now see the new folder, and if I double click on it, I can see the three files that I just moved there. I can also choose to create subfolders within that folder, or even sub-subfolders, and basically organize my files in the gallery any way I like. 